Hi Virgo, it's L here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it, Virgo. Thank you, God, for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Virgo, you have the star card, two of pentacles, seven of wands. Bottom of the deck, four of cups. So it looks like um, you're kind of isolating yourself because somebody kept a decision up in the air too long. They wouldn't decide on you or decide on what they were doing. So you kind of made the decision for them by blocking them out. Um, moving on, persevering, maybe even in a new direction, taking a real strong approach to how you feel, what it is you want. Some of you have created the boundaries, the healthy boundaries, so that you can perfect your peace. Maybe because with this person, there was no peace. There was, you know, it was like a seesaw. Uh, they were teeter-totter uh, uh, in terms of a decision, in terms of um, maybe you guys moving in together, taking things to the next level, um, them divorcing or separating, something like that. Um, so some of you just deciding to get back on the, the path of you and get it into alignment or realignment in terms of yourself, just you and what you have to offer uh, to the world. Um, some of you going to find, um, you know, stability, financial stability by doing two different things at the same time. Some of you are really just going to focus in on you, zoom in on you. Some of you are taking that minority approach. There might be um, a lot of people maybe telling you what you should do, giving you advice, um, prompting you. But it looks like you're going to only, only listen to you right now with the seven of wands coming out. Um, there's also, uh, you don't want to hear what your person has to say. Uh, you just feel like they need to apologize. You, f you don't want to hear what they have to say because first of all, they, they, uh, they talk too much. Uh, they talk about starting the relationship or being in a real relationship, but they don't actually do it. This person also, and some of you could need to start that business. Um, you're talking about it too much and you're not actually doing it. Some of you are in the initial stage stages of starting a business uh, you'd be doing paperwork online doing applications for whatever it is you need somebody may come and try to once again disturb your peace with this message of concern they see that now you're focused on you and they may want to uh come in and apologize uh do the right thing but they they can't keep things steady you know with you maybe even with work um they could think that you think that they're nuts or um, they think you're nuts uh, for maybe cutting them off or choosing yourself um, while they're all, you know, in this unhappy marriage or this unhappy connection that they're in. Um, you feel like somebody kind of, again, teeter totters. It's like a seesaw one minute. It's yes. And then the next is no. They're just not stable enough to make a firm decision. Um, they don't stand on a firm foundation. Um, some of you have just become withdrawn, not concerned about this person. Um, you feel like this person has missed out on you or you're rejecting them or they rejected you or it was mutual. Something about missing out, missing the opportunity, not seeing the blessing before you because you're too, some, some person is too um, superficial, materialistic. Um, so they can't see the blessing that is maybe a specific person. It's not who they want. It's not what they want. They're focused on something that might be unattainable or where they're not the only person. This could be you, Leo. I mean, excuse me, I said Leo. Could be dealing with Leo. Could be you, Virgo. It could be someone else. Um, so maybe you, you need to shift your focus and then you'll get what you want. Um, you may have caught somebody um, cheating. And at this time, you're just not willing to work on the marriage. Okay. Um, you feel like maybe being with this person is just an overall bad decision. And it seems as if you, if you have children, it's like you are a single parent here. Okay. Because we do have the privileged lady at the bottom of the deck and she is typically married, but I don't see her counterpart out here. And because you are a single parent, you may be kind of 
having a hard time keeping, you know, a tight rein on the children. So your, your children are unruly, you know, loud, dis- disobedient, bad, uh, disrespectful. Um, so I don't know if you need help with that. Um, but, but definitely, um, look into that. It looks like somebody does want to do the right thing, but they want to do the right thing for like two seconds. And then they're back out doing the same old thing. Um, yeah, this is what I have. Um, somebody's very materialistic, uh, very superficial, and that's what they're looking for. You caught this person cheating. Maybe you feel like it's a bad decision. Uh, to work on the marriage or maybe even to leave and you're just not doing anything. You just want this person to apologize. Um, they could feel like you talk too much about starting a business, but not actually doing it. Or maybe this person makes too many promises and they don't actually follow through. That can, that also sometimes reads as that. It just seems as if, um, you're kind of over something. You're over it. They're over it. Um, it's just like two ships passing in the night, especially if you live with this person. There's no connection here. Um, this is what I have for you, Virgo. If it resonates, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link. And if you can't do any of that, just let me know how this resonates for you down in the comment section. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you.